Hello, if you have been struggling with questions involving parabola and quadratic equations, then this video is for you. Just stay tuned until the end. Watch until the end. Okay, so here is a question. This is an exam question. The diagram below shows a sketch of the graph y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8, cutting the x-axis at b and c. So this curve is cutting the x-axis at b and c. Okay, so part A they are saying find the coordinates of b and c. So they want you to find the coordinates of b and c. Now, for you to find b and c, you need to know that along this line, along the x-axis, the y-coordinate is equal to 0. So along the y x axis, along the x axis, y is equal to zero. So meaning, for for us to find the values or the coordinates of b and c, we are supposed to use this equation. Okay. So we have, let's just rewrite this equation. We have y is equal to x squared minus six x plus eight. Okay. So since we are saying uh, along this line, the value of y, or the, the, the y-coordinate is 0, it means we are going to equate this equation to 0. Where there is y, it means that where there is y, we are going to put 0. So we are going to have x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, so next, uh, this is now a pure quadratic equation. All we need is just to solve. So before we solve, you need to know the product, the, the sum and the factors. Okay? You need to know the product, the sum and the factors. So the product, this P, product, is the product by multiplying the coefficient of x squared by the constant here. Okay? So the, in this case, the constant, the, the, the coefficient of x squared is 1. So we're going to say 1 times 8 uh, is 8, positive. Then the sum, the sum we get the, the coefficient of x. So in this case it's negative 6. Negative 6. Okay? Then factors. The factors. We're talking about the factors of uh, 8, 8. Such that th those factors should be we are talking about two factors of 8, such that if we multiply those two factors, we'll get 8. And when we add those two factors, we'll get uh, negative 6. So, we have 2 and 4. If we say 2 times 4, we'll get 8. But if we say 2 plus 4, uh, we'll get 6 and not negative 6. So, what you have to know now is that... Eh, Whenever you have a negative sum like this, it means all the two factors are going to be negative. Okay, so we are going to use those factors to solve the equation. So we are having x squared, then minus 2x, then minus 4x, and then plus 8 is equal to 0. Then you can see that we have 4 terms 1 2 3 4 and because uh, we have four terms because we have four terms we are going to group them into twos we are going to pair them we are going to pair them like that so that we factorize the first two terms and then the second the second two terms so what is common there is x x squared divided by x is x then Negative 2x divided by x is minus 2. Then minus, uh, what is common here is 4. Then negative 4x divided by 4, you remain with x here. Then 8 divided by, by negative 4, you remain with 2. Then is equal to 0. So you can see that what is in the brackets are the same. So you are going to just pick 1x minus 2. Then pick this one, x minus 4, then is equal to 0. Okay, so when you reach at this stage, it's either uh, this is equal to that or this is equal to that. So we have 
x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so when you are solving, uh, remember, remember we are solving for x, we want to find the values of x, so meaning we collect like terms together by taking the negative 2 to the right and once it crosses the equal sign to be positive, it's, it's the same with this. Okay, so now we are going to have x is equal to uh, is equal to 2 or x is equal to 4 positive. Now, so it means that here at b, which one, which value belongs to b? Okay, it means that the x value at b, which is smaller, is 2, comma. Remember, we said along this line, the value of y is 0, so 2, comma, 0. Then here at c, we have uh, 4, comma, 0. Okay, next, the second question says, find the coordinates of the turning point of the, of the graph. So you can see that the graph is coming like this. So the turning point is here, the point at which the graph is turning. So we are looking for the, uh, the coordinates of x and, y, and, and, and x and y. Okay, we are looking for the x and y coordinates at this point where the graph is turning. Now, for you to find the turning point, first find the, the x coordinate. So the x coordinate is given by the formula x is equal to uh, negative b over 2a. Negative b over 2a. That's a formula that we use to find the turning point, the co x coordinate. Okay, so remember we have y is equal to x squared uh, minus 6x plus 8. So we need to know what, a, what b is and what a is. a is the coefficient of x squared. So a is equal to 1. Coefficient of x squared is 1. Then b, the coefficient of, uh, of x is negative 6. Okay, so we go ahead and plug in there. So we are going to have x is equal to negative. Then remember you have negative 6 there, negative 6 over 2. Then a is 1. Okay, so negative times negative will be positive 6 over 2. So this gives 3. Okay, so the x coordinate here is 3. The x coordinate is 3. Now, how, we, how, how are we going to find the y coordinate? So the y coordinate, again, we are going to rely uh, on this very equation. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 8. So since we already have, we've already found the value of, of x as 3, so meaning wherever there is x here, we are going to replace with 3. So y is equal to uh, 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8. Okay. Okay. So you are going to have 9 minus 18 plus 8. So now here, since this is paper 1, no calculator, so you can use bead mass or board mass. So you, you are going to work out these from left to right as they are appearing. So 9 minus 18 is negative, negative 9 plus 8. Okay. Then negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1. Okay. So meaning the, meaning the, meaning that the, y value here is negative 1. So you have found you have found the coordinates of the turning point point here. Okay. 
thank you very much for watching and if you are new to this channel i encourage you to subscribe for more math lessons